Hello, friends. It's Chris Angel coming at you for another episode of Marketing for the Rest of Us. This show is dedicated to those of us who are human beings that want to help other human beings. And maybe we're resigned, cynical, indignant even about technology, SEO, algorithms, all the things that seem to cock block us on our way to the difference we want to make in the world, right? So, (laughs) okay. So here's the deal. Um, Calling your shots. I don't I don't know that I would say I'm a control freak, but what I would say is that I definitely hate being at the mercy of somebody else telling me what I can and can't do, which is exactly what algorithms do, right? Like algorithms, you don't have a say in what that does. So you might slave over, which you might slave over creating content for your marketing. Now, before I go on with that, most of us, if we're honest, aren't slaving over making content. We're not consistent enough in our content uh, to even have organic content. results happen. You're not consistent enough to even have organic results happen. But that being said, most of us are judging our success in our marketing based on the organic nature of our content. In other words, we're not doing proactive, uh, it doesn't have to be paid strategies, but we're not taking proactive uh, approaches to our marketing, we're posting something and then waiting for, reacting, hoping that something shows up from our efforts. That has no way to call your shots. And I remember thinking, um, I wanted a way, I wanted a way to be able to say, this is the result I'm trying to produce and then be able to produce it, right? Like I see, like, this is the curse of a visionary. Like when you're, when you, when you have vision, when you see where you want to go, the life you want to create, the kind of income you want, the kind of time off you want, the kind of houses you want, the kind, all the stuff that you have, you have already seen for yourself. You have already seen it. The life you want to live, the business you want to build, you've already seen it. But then to not know how to produce that is unnerving. It's frustrating as hell. You're like, this is what I want. And for, I mean, look, I'm 17, 18 years in a business now. For 17 years trying to produce it, that is super frustrating. So when I started to figure out this game of marketing, right, and the different components and pieces that I needed to master in order to produce the result, all of a sudden I I got that there was a game I could play that I could in, in some ways control, right? And I can't completely control it. And you can't control life. Um, and I can't control Facebook because I don't own Facebook. But there are definitely some things where I can see a result I want to produce. And on purpose, now I can produce that result. Okay? But in order to produce that result, in order to call your shot, you have to know the game you're playing. And most, most people in marketing don't know the game. So what they're left with is doing what they see other people doing. And so they, they post They do posts, they do a video, they go Facebook Live, but they don't actually understand the game. And even if they did understand the game, they're they're, um, limiting themselves to organic strategies, right? So it is in the embracing of how do we proactively take the, the base of this whole thing, gang, is content. Your content is the base of this whole strategy. You having a message for the world is where all of this starts. And once you're clear about what that message is, most of you aren't clear, but once you're clear about what that message is, then it's about going, how do I take this message and put it in front of people in a proactive way? That has to go beyond algorithms because algorithms will not proactively put, it'll put it in front of some people, but you don't get to say who those people are. And even if you, and even if the people that it did put it in front of interacted with it, liked it, commented on it, it doesn't mean that they're actually going to move forward in where you need them to move forward in. In other words, if, if you post and then you hope people buy your thing, but you don't actually have a, a map or a road or a, a uh, well, we can use the word funnel. I think most people now sort of cringe when they hear the word funnel, but it is what it is, right? Like if you don't have a path that you can invite people down to, to the result you're trying to produce, then, then what are we doing? So here, let's wrap with this, okay? For you to produce the result, you, one, you have to have your message dialed in. Number two, you have to know where you're inviting them to. Like where are they, they going to go? 
By the way, you have to know who they even is. Who are they? Because organic traffic strategies, organic strategies oftentimes are, are just that. They're organic and they're not put in front of the very specific they that you, need, that you need your stuff to be put in front of in order to produce the kind of result you're trying to produce. So you need a message. You need the right they. You need to be clear on who they are. You need a path for they, for them, to go down that leads to the very result you're trying to produce. And once all of that is mapped out, do you get, watch, watch this. Once all of that is mapped out, and most people don't even have all of that, but once all of that is mapped out, then, then you can actually now turn on the proactive uh, marketing strategies, the proactive, and you know, a paid traffic is a great example of this, so running ads is a great example of this, that's one, but it's only one example of being intentional. You could sponsor something. Go find a group of people that are already uh, coming together. Maybe it's an association or a chamber or uh, some group somewhere. And you could sponsor something to get your content in front of them that would lead them down the funnel to produce the result you're trying to produce, right? So... Um, all that to say, like, if you're going to produce the result on purpose, if you're going to call your shot, if you want to feel any sense of control about your impact and the scale of your impact in the world, then you're going to have to start looking to um, proactive, we'll use that word, proactive strategies for, uh, for your traffic, for, for getting people to uh, the, the products and services that you have to help them, right? So... Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts. If you have thoughts, throw them in the comments. I'll circle back on that. If you want, if you don't already have your message dialed in, that is like step, that's square one. That's like, that is like where it all starts. And if you w want help with that, I have a course, a free course to kind of get you down that road, right? You can go to groundswellmethod.com. It's five videos, just over 90 minutes. And I recommend that you start there, okay? If that's interesting to you, you like what you hear in those 90 minutes, then you might want to apply for my six-week Groundswell Method Intensive Program, and that actually starts to dial that in so that you're putting yourself in position for proactive results and being able to call your shot in marketing. Okay, thanks for hanging out with me today in this episode of Marketing for the Rest of Us. Here's to you calling your own shots. See ya.